consists of ribs, bulkheads, wing fairings, and canopies. What uh, type of material are you using throughout the construction then? Uh, whole construction is aluminum, all aluminum construction. Any welding to be done on uh, it? The only welding is uh, landing gear legs and a few small parts. Okay. Now, when you've got the airplane up and running, what are you powering it with? That's uh, a half Volkswagen. Uh, we build uh, complete motors and kits for them also. Uh, how long is the average person looking at putting one together? For example, let's start with plans. The plans come in, what are they, a booklet of, of plans? Uh, they're rolled plans. Uh, they're fully detailed plans. Comes with a full manual with it. Um, your, the plans sell for $180. Um, if you build completely from scratch, not buying any of our kit parts, you can build them for about $800. Or $800. What, is there any type of special tooling or knowledge required? Can, like, can the average person take a uh, project like this on and get it finished? Uh, yes. Uh, the best thing is to like, belong to the EAA and have somebody that's had some sheet metal experience, you know, in riveting and forming sheet metal. That's about the only knowledge you need. There's no special tools you really need, common off-the-shelf items. Uh, the only specialty tool would be like a rivet gun if you wanted to put in aircraft rivets. Is the uh, aircraft able to, or designed around any other engines as well? Uh, we didn't. We've just strictly designed it around the half VW. Uh, we have had people put a Rotax 447s on them. We don't recommend anything more than 40 horse on it, just because we haven't done any testing with any more horsepower. So if we get the airplane up and running, we've spent two, a year, year and a half. Uh, what kind of uh, pr uh, performance are we going to be getting out of the airplane? Uh, on this here, the, the the stall on it is about 40 mile an hour. Uh, Takeoff speed 50, approach speed 55. Uh, with a 40 horse engine, we're cruising around 110 mile an hour with it. Now, is it a standard three axis control on it, stick and rudder? Yep, stick rudder, ailerons. Yep. Uh, is it got flaps on it as well? Uh, no flaps. Okay. Uh, we're in a tail dragger configuration here by the looks of it. Mm -hmm. um, is there any, it looks like it's very short coupled. Is it a, a real mother to get down on the ground and get no, straight it's when not. you're down it's, there? No, uh, it's not. It doesn't have any bad ground handling characteristics. It, it's a typical tail dragger. Uh, we offer it too. You can build it in a tricycle gear. Uh, oh, I didn't realize that. What, uh, the tricycle gear, any difference in the performance? No or? difference in performance that we can see. If we wanted to get more information, how do we get a hold? You got a name, address, phone yes, number? Yes, uh, we've got uh, we've got a website uh, under Hummelbird. Um, we've got cards we can give people if we're looking for it. Um, myself, I take care of the engine. I bought the engine business from Maury, so I do all the motors for him, and he strictly does all the plans. Okay. Have you got an address, phone number? Yeah. Uh, the address is uh, right from Maury Hummel. It's 509 East Butler Street, Bryan, Ohio. 43506. Thank you very much for your time. Okay. I'm back at you, Scott. Uh, yeah. I was wondering, we've got this little Volkswagen engine here. Like, you're talking a half Volkswagen. Why don't you just sort of grab an engine and cut it with a bandsaw? That's basically what we do. We take a standard Type 1 VW engine, we cut off the back two cylinders, uh, we weld the case and uh, machine it, put a back plate on it. Uh, we offer them in uh, three different engines, either a standard stroke, 28 and 32 horse, or a stroker, we put a stroker scat crank in them, which will get them up to 37 to 40 horse. Uh, is there a, a TBO expected on them, or has it been proven in the field? Uh, we've had engines reports of 1,500 hours on them, and they're still running strong yet, so we don't really have a TBO. Nobody's run one out yet. Okay. What about the, um, um, oh, I'm starting to lose my uh, questions here. Uh, we've cut this Volkswagen engine half. Mm -hmm. Is there any special parts that we're going to need, uh, like to, to finish it off? Uh, no, uh, all the parts we use are off-the-shelf parts you can buy from any VW performance place. What about the exhaust systems? Uh, exhaust systems, they the motor, we supply just the straight stacks. Um, if somebody wants to modify their own exhaust from there, they can. 
What kind of uh, weight are we coming in total length? Uh, total weight carb, uh, that's magneto ignition, is 85 pounds. Is it like a dual ignition or is it uh, a single? single magneto ignition. Okay. Uh, dual is, we have put them on for people who requested them. Are they a direct drive or are you using? Uh, direct drive, yep, oh off the back of the crankshaft. What kind of RPM are we developing through with them? Uh, we, uh, about 33 to 3500 is where we like keeping the RPM range. What kind of uh, uh, fuel consumption uh, would I be getting uh, out of that? We burn a little under two gallons an hour, about 1.9. I don't think you could ask for much. How much is someone looking at, by the time they finish uh, with uh, complete installation using your engine, how much money do you think they'd have tied up in this little plane? Uh, we figured if you purchase a motor from us and do most of the scratch building on the plane, you can build one for about $6,000. Thanks again, Mark. You're Fair welcome. Scott.